Today, we are going to learn about key components of HTML. Hypertext Markup Language, HTML HTML is the standard markup language for creating web pages and web applications. It is not a programming language. It is the markup language which is designed for presentation of multimedia elements like text, picture, animation, etc. What are the key components of HTML? Tag, attribute, and elements. Now we can study the HTML component, tag. Tags are used to describe how a web page should be displayed in a browser window. It is enclosed in an angle bracket. Less than and greater than symbols are used to write the angle bracket. For example, tag B, this is the opening tag B, then write some content, example welcome, then write the closing tag B. How, we can identify open tag and closing tag. Closing tag has a slash symbol. Here the tag B instructs the browser window to write the word welcome in bold letter. Now let us see another example tag U. This is the opening tag U, then write the word welcome, then write the closing tag U. Here the tag U instructs the browser window to underline the word welcome. That is, tags are used to describe how a web page should be displayed in a browser window. Container tag, the container tag is holding the beginning and ending area of the content. Container tag consists of an opening tag and closing tag, that is, it appears in pairs. Title tag is an example of container tag. This title tag is called as the opening title tag, and this title tag is called as the closing title tag. Closing title tag has one slash line. Between these tags, we are writing the content. Body tag is another example of container tag. This is the opening body tag, this is the closing body tag. Such that container tag is holding the beginning and ending area of the content. Empty tag, empty tag does not hold any content. It has only one tag. For example, BR tag, HR tag, etc. BR tag is used for breaking line an HR tag used for inserting horizontal line. That is, empty tag, has only one tag. Next component is attribute. Attributes provide additional information about a tag. An attribute has two parts, attribute name and attribute value. How we will connect the attribute name and its value. For that, we are using equal to symbol. That is, attribute name equals attribute value. Example of attribute is BG color. BG color equals color name, the attribute BG color is used to set the background color. The value of this attribute can give any color name. BG color equals blue, BG color equals green etc but some attribute has only name. Example, no shade. Now we can see how to insert an attribute in tag. Syntax of attribute. First we have to insert less than symbol and then we can write tag name. After that leave a space, write attribute name and equal to symbol, then write the value of attribute. We can insert zero or more attribute in a tag. After writing all attributes, insert the greater than symbol. Now, we can see how to insert the attributes BG color and text in body tag. Here, we are using the body tag with two attribute, BG color and text. Already we have studied, BG color is used to set the background color. In order to set the text color we use the attribute text. First, we can insert less than symbol, then we will write tag name body. 
Now leave a space, and then write first attribute, again leave a space, then write second attribute. Finally insert greater than symbol. The attributes, bg color and text, give additional information to the tag body, that is we are getting green background color, and white text color. Thus attribute give additional information to the tags. Next component of HTML is, element. The tag and its contents together called as, an element. Types of elements, content element, empty element, and, nested element. Content element, the container tag, and, its contents are together called as, content element. Now we can see syntax, here first we will write the opening tag, then write the sum content, and, finally write the closing tag. For example, here we are using, the content tag title. First we will write the opening title tag, then write the sum content, and finally write the closing title tag. The entire statement together is called as element. What is the content here? Content is my first web page. Now we can see empty element, this element does not hold any content. Example, br tag, this tag is used for, inserting a new line in a web page. So it does not require any content. Next element is, nested element, nested element contains another element. For example tag 1 holds tag 2 so tag 1 called as nested element. Here body holds h1 so body called as nested element. Today we learned about hypertext markup language or HTML. It has three components, tag, attribute and element. Tags are used to describe how a web page should be displayed in a browser window. Types of tag, container tag, empty tag. Next HTML component is attribute. Attributes provide additional information about a tag. And final component is element, the tag, and its contents together called as an element. Types of element, content element, empty element and, nested element. These are the components of HTML. Watch the video. Read the textbook. Complete the worksheet. And practical.